With a few more days left for campaigning in Kerala, the three fronts, namely the UDF, LDF and NDA, are fighting tooth and nail to win the hearts of voters. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi's question of why the Modi government, which jailed two opposition chief ministers, is letting the Kerala chief minister Pindrai Vijayan, who is accused of corruption, walk free and the chief minister's sarcastic reply to the question has already heated up the campaign while Priyanka Gandhi also repeated Rahul Gandhi's question. She further alleged that Pindrai Vijayan was interested in criticizing only his brother Rahul and the Congress party. These developments are raising concerns about the future of the opposition India bloc itself and casts a shadow over the Congress left friendship outside Kerala. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has added fuel to the fire by saying that Chief Minister Pinrai Vijayan is criticizing Rahul Gandhi in a language harsher than himself, taking a dig at the India bloc. The Chief Minister who once again lashed out at Rahul Gandhi for his silence on the Citizenship Amendment Act openly said that uh, Rahul has a sunk parivar mindset. At the same time, it is Noteworthy that Priyanka Gandhi stated that if the India front comes to power, the citizenship, it is clear that Congress senses the danger of CPM unilaterally scoring brownie points by putting Congress on the defensive on the citizenship issue affecting Muslims. Then uh, there may also have been pressure from the KPCC leadership. Now, as Kerala goes to polls on April 26, 2024, the effort of the United Democratic Front, led by the Congress party, is to repeat its electrifying victory in the 2019 Lok Sabha elections when it secured a win in 19 of the 20 Lok Sabha constituencies. However, it dropped to 18 when a key ally in central Kerala, the Kerala Congress Mani Group, which won the Kotayam seat, switched sides and helped the left democratic front led by the communist party of india marxist put up a good show in the 2021 kerala assembly elections in the central travanco region where the kcm wields considerable influence in the christian community now come to 2024 the anti incumbency against the kerala government is said to be at play but the left front is using its organi organizational strengths to canvas for votes and repeat its history of 2004 when it won 17 seats. But now both these friends find a serious contester in the National Democratic Alliance or NDA led by the Bharatiya Janata Party, which has made this Lok Sabha elections a triangular fight in at least a few seats in Kerala. A seemingly diffident Congress leader Rahul Gandhi is seeking another term from Wayanad, while Prime Minister Narendra Modi is making frequent campaign visits to Kerala with the willpower to open BJP's account in Kerala. But top leaders of the CPM and the Congress play this down and emphatically keep saying that the BJP will not get even a single seat in Kerala. In 2019, constituencies in northern Kerala witnessed heavy polling, while the same enthusiasm was not shared by voters in southern parts of Kerala. While Rahul Gandhi, who contested from Wayanad, secured the highest ever margin in the Lok Sabha elections in, in Kerala, A.M. Arif the sole left candidate who got elected to parliament from Alapura constituency in 2019 recorded the lowest victory margin. BJP's Shobha Surendran and Congress's KC Venugopal are the other candidates in the constituency. The Congress-led United Democratic Front has fielded all sitting MPs except Trishur MP T.N. Pradhaban in the 2024 general elections. He is seeking another term from the same constituency as the left front candidate. Congress's Kodikundal Suresh is seeking his eighth term in the Lok Sabha election from Mavilikera. BDJS's Baiju Kalashala is the NDA candidate here. A close fight is on the cards in most constituencies, but a few have caught national attention due to the profile of the candidates. The battle for Thiruvanthapuram 
Kerala's capital is expected to be three-cornered fight. In the fray are three-time MP and Congressman Shashi Tharoor, dynamic technocrat and BJP's Union Minister Rajiv Chandrasekhar, and CPI veteran leader Panyan Ravindran. Former Kerala Finance Minister T.M. Thomas Isaac of CPM is seeking to wrest Patanam Tita from Congress's three-time MP Antu Antony. Veteran Congress leader A.K. Antony's son Anil K. Antony is the BJP candidate. Trishur is set for a nail-biting triangular contest with the CPI's P.S. Sunil Kumar, Congress's K. Murali Dharan and BJP's actor-turned-politician Suresh Gopi carrying out an all-out campaign in this central Kerala constituency. Vadagara in the north has former Minister K.K. Shailaja of the CPM taking on Congress's Shafi Parambil and BJP's C.R. Praful Krishna. In Wayanad, former Congress President Rahul Gandhi is contesting against CPI's Annie Raja and BJP's Kerala State President K. Surendra.